Hello everyone, good afternoon. Welcome to our first episode of our Chakra Chatter. So this is the light-hearted uh, the light-hearted version of Chakra Chat. So Chakra Chat is every Friday here in Chakra and then for Saturday I'm hosting the Chakra Chatter and for Chakra Chatter this kind of twist content. So we have an extra special guest every Saturday. So we will be not uh, we will not be posting who will be our guest for chakra chatter so for this afternoon um it took me a while for to find people kung sino yung igigest ko for the chakra chatter i it parang of course it's always the universe that tell us kung sino igigest and then um what had happened is i um checked all of my friends list from the yoga community as well as like uh people that i've knew for uh, since I've started doing yoga. So one of the first people na, ang sabi ko, um, kung sino yung una magi yes si, siya yung magiging <laughs> guest ko for this afternoon. And yeah, the, um, the universe collided and I have a very, I'm very honored to have the uh, first episode of Chakra Chatter. So it's more of Tawan and more of anything like under the sun on a weekend. So that's what Chakra Chatter is all about. So I'm very happy to introduce to you kung sino yung guest natin for this afternoon. Our guest for this afternoon is, or found her yoga practice seven years ago and decided to pursue it professionally three years later. So I've known her for siguro mga three years na din. And then as a mother of three boys, yoga provides her the perfect outlet for her day-to-day -day life. Um, since yoga is her passion, it um, she brings a lot of positive energy and also that, you know, exuberance na nangyayari sa buhay-buhay. Like, yung everyday and day-to-day -day encounter niya sa kanyang mga students. So, with this, um, she has completed professional certification for vinyasa yoga, trapeze yoga, inferno pilates, and recently lang, rocket yoga. So, um, I would like, without so much further ado, I would like to invite my guest for this afternoon. Please welcome a good friend of mine, Teacher Katrina. Hi! Welcome to Chakra Chatter. Hello, thank you, thank Kumusta? you. How are you? I'm awesome. Outstanding. Thank you for, for having me here. I'm very excited. So when you message me if i am okay to to be your guest i was like yes yes 100 percent yes <laughs> hindi na kailangan pag-isipan <laughs> kaya nga diba so parang sabi ko okay parang ano yung ano doon parang just say yes or no so ako naman um i'm really more of the kung sino yung mauna and then that also means that it's really like it's for you. Parang you know the universe really allowed you to be there. So yun nga and thank you so much for being here. So um, this is the first episode, so, episode one. Sabi mo nga, bakit maiden? No, may premiere pa. Oh, kasi pa ano? Um, the pressure chat, really ako. Hindi, hindi ka dapat ma pressure because chakra chat. <laughs> It um nangyari siya when the pandemic happened. So it was really like ano lang spark of idea na, na me teachers Sam and the other teachers um we thought that ano yung pwede natin gawin na uh, aside from doing yoga aside from doing this what what are the other stuff that we can do? So we we think of why not do an online show or like a parang tea time and something. So parang okay and then na realize namin na sige let let's start it from there and then. We started na kami lang, then eventually we invite guest teachers, and then most of them, parang never, hindi sila nag, hindi sila nag no. So they, parang, you know, they were so honored to be part, and of course, yes. sino ba naman, di ba? <laughs> so for now, uh, before, uh, the our topic for this afternoon is really all about you, you as a yoga teacher, and I just want you to know, Kat, or, well, I call you Katriona. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh my God, beyond days, <laughs> We had so much fun during those times, and you know, going back to those, I just want to know, or kung meron ako hindi alam, that 
um, how and when did you start doing yoga? So can you tell me a story on how that all started? Pano and, you know, just inform the audience about you and the yoga journey. Okay, sige. So let's do a flashback. Like way, 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 way back. I was 28 that time. I'm 35. Um, so I discovered, I heard about yoga long time ago. Pero you know, yoga kasi here in the Philippines, usually it's the movement workout ng mga mayayaman. Alam mo yan? Kasi way back, konti pa lang yung studios eh. So medyo mahal pa yung mga um, walk-in, yung mga package. So it's not really pa um, marami. Maraming nag-yoga ng time na yon. So naririnig ko na siya. Pero I don't mind. I don't care about what yoga is. So I was 25 then, 26, 27. And then parang I was 27 at that time when I wanted to start my physical movement workout. Hindi pa yoga. So I tried running. I tried Zumba. That, that time when I was 27, I enrolled myself sa... Fitness first pa nung time na yon. Wala pang anytime fitness. So, fitness first and then Gold's Gym. Sila pa yung um, magkalaban. So, hindi ako nag-enjoy. Nagpa-body jam ako and then body combat. May yoga na rin dun sa fitness first. I tried to join the gentle vinyasa. Gentle yoga, I think. Pero parang siguro that time, it wasn't for me yet. So sabi ko, yoga dito. So bumalik ako sa mga body jam, body combat, ganun. Hanggang sa, mm, di na rin ako masaya, nag-weightlifting ako, nag-treadmill ako. Sabi ko, ay, Aries, it's not for me. Gym is not for me. And then nag-try naman ako ng jogging lang. Like nag-upload ako ng, yung sa cellphone na can track my kilometers. Pero parang, Hindi rin siya for me. Hindi ako naging masaya. Parang ganon. Hindi ako motivated to do it. Maganon. Parang the only thing that motivates me to to work out, to jog, is yung ipopost ko sa mga social media. Yon. Yun lang yung nakaka-motivate nung, nung time na yun sa akin. Pero I'm not doing it for myself because I'm fulfilled and I'm happy. Maganon. So, I met a friend, I was 28 that, te- that time, and then sabi niya sa akin, why don't you try yoga? Sabi ko, ah, yeah, pero kasi in the Philippines, yung friend ko na yon is living in, in the States, in LA. Sabi ko, ah, yoga? Sabi ko, parang that's for the elite lang eh, mga upscale. Kasi nga, it's too expensive nung time na yon. Tapos sabi niya, eh, then try mo lang sa mga YouTube, mga ganyan-ganyan. And then nung time na parang nagbabrowse ako ng Facebook, si Urban Ashram, that's my first studio, posted a three-month um, open house in Capitolio. That's in Pasig. And then I emailed, and Urban Ashram is very generous kasi may mga days and may mga time slot lang yung free classes for three months. So I put my name in all those um, time slot na gusto ko and yung mga days na gusto ko for three months. And Urban Ashram is very, very, very generous kasi they accommodate me for three months for free. So I pick, I think, yung 7 a.m. class nila. Kasi parang yung mga free is yung hindi masyadong prime time. So, I was with Orban for free classes for three months. And then, nung natapos na yung open house nila, I remember mga January pa yon. January natapos yung open house. So, November, December, January, um, naka-open house sila. Nung natapos na, parang sabi ko, wow, wait lang. Hinahanap na siya ng katawan ko. Imagine, I live in Pasay, pero I drive all the way to Pasig just to attend the class for one hour. Kasi nag enjoy talaga ako eh. Like, sobrang saya ko. So, nung natapos na, sabi ko, ay, wait lang. Ang lungkot na. 
Nasanay na ako na every Sunday pumupunta ako sa studio. Saturday pumupunta din ako sa studio. Then that's the time I bought na the weekend package. Since meron kasi akong corporate job na from Monday to Friday. So I make sure the Saturday and Sunday is for my yoga practice. So I bought the class class cards. And then afternoon, dere-derecho. Pag, pag nagsisales yung Urban Ashram ng mga class card, I make sure to, to hoard. Like, pag bumibili ako ng class cards, like 30 class cards, good for one year na, kasi since weekends lang naman. Until dumating yung time na gusto ko nang mag-deepen. Not to teach yet, but to deepen my practice. And, ayun, una gusto ko sanang mag- mag-teacher training sa Urban Ashram. Pero nung time na yon is wala pa akong cash. Because, you know, it's an it's an investment. When you took the, when you take the teacher training for, for yoga, yeah. it's an investment. So, hindi siya biro. So, it's, you know, 100,000 more more. So, nung sabi ko, um, if it's for me, it's for me. The universe will provide. Pag masyado ko kasi mapilit sa gusto mo, mas nade-delay. So sabi ko, okay, universe, I want to I want to take the teacher training not because I want to teach, but I want to deepen my practice. And just tell me if it's if ready na ako. And then chill lang ako hanggang eventually biglang nag-post naman si Yoga Plus. Parang sabi ni Yoga Plus, okay, we're doing the first batch of Binyasa teacher training, ganyan-ganyan. So sabi ko, ay, eto na yon. So I emailed Yoga Plus. Sabi ko, um, I'm interested to... Sign a God. Oh, oh. Okay. Sabi ko, I'm interested to do the, the yoga, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. So sabi ko, pero I don't have the cash yet. Sabi ko, can I just pay a down payment just to reserve my, my, my slot, my spot? And then sabi ni, si Yoga Plus din is very generous. Sabi niya, Okay, just um, pay 10000 for the reservation and you can pay the rest until mag-graduation. So sabi ko, wow. Kasi alam mo yon, may ibang, especially siguro sa abroad, if you take the teacher training before the training commence, kailangan fully paid ka na. Pero siguro since it's a local studio here sa Pilipinas, so... Sinabi sa akin ni Yoga Plus na you can pay installment hanggang sa mag-graduation tayo. So, na, nabayaran ko naman bago ko graduate. And then that's it. Hindi pa ako nagturo noon, nung graduate ko uh-huh. ng March. Hindi pa. Nag-practice lang ako. Like I said, hindi naman ako kumuha ng teacher training because I want to teach. I, I, it's for my personal uh, practice. Okay, so yeah, it, it makes sense then na parang it, it took a while for you to really go because you want to deepen muna. And then as far yeah. as I, I can remember, palagi mong sinasabi, you will be forever a student. Yes. Yeah, but, which is yes. true. Kasi kahit ako, I, I really want to be a forever student. Yeah. Parang we started lagi from ko, there, eh. Diba? Yeah, lagi ko ang sinasabi sa'yo, eh. If this is not my full-time work, Siyempre, I also need to work. I also need to earn because I have my bills. I have my responsibilities. I have three children. If not because of those, I'd rather prefer to be a student rather than teaching. Because it's so nice to become a student. Especially kapag yung teacher mo is yung you trust so much na nag-resonate sa'yo ang dami mong natutupi. So yeah. Yeah, I I got that kasi ano din eh parang yung connection mo with being a student. Alam mo yung struggle and then when you became a teacher, hindi naman siya in a snap na ganun na lang, 'di ba? Parang yes. it was oh, it was really your journey. So, um i-connect ko lang siya for my next question. Um what was your first impression nung when you yung first impression mo sa first yoga class mo ever and then i-compare natin kung ano yung yoga for you right now. So, yeah. Okay. Um, like I said, my first first yoga was in, in, in not anytime, in fitness first. When okay. I tried the gentle. Okay. Mm-hmm. That time, medyo hindi ako masaya. 
hindi ako nag-enjoy. Siguro kasi it's gentle. Mm-hmm. It's a gentle yoga. And with my personality, para akong kitikite. Alam mo yun? Kaya nga, I need to do more yin. Yin yoga practices. Kasi I need to be grounded. So, noong time na yun, parang sa ko, mm, parang for stretching, I want something more powerful. So, I tried again. Yung sa Urban Ashram, yun talaga, medyo, sabi ko, this is for me. Kasi, it's a mix of slow. Slow kasi it's, it's you know, hindi naman din mabilisan si, si yoga. It's a mix of slow, but then at the same time, you sweat. And that's what I want. So, yun, yun yung, yun yung impression ko. Medyo na boring ako sa gentle yoga. Maybe it's not for me, dahil nga medyo active ako. And yung impression ko now, I, there's no word to describe how grateful I am that I found yoga. Wala siyang equivalent na no, no word. Parang 100% overwhelming kung meron pa. Yun na yung impression ko sa, sa yoga ngayon. Like, very thankful, very, very fulfilled na... Yun. It's it's hard to explain yung happiness na nararamdaman ko because of this journey. Yeah, um I can't agree to that more because right now um we're experiencing pandemic and we are in a quarantine for about 6 months already and then it's really different. So um us when we are practicing, we if we find time and then it's I know that um it's struggling for everyone, but you know, um, at the end of the day, we're still great that we have we learn or we learn how to do yoga, we do how to be mindful, and then yun lang sana yung parang wish natin, di ba? All of the teachers like that everyone can really practice and just be with themselves and have that mindfulness, in, especially at these times. And you know, parang but eventually. The time will really come for that. Yeah. Hindi naman yun automatic, no? Yeah. And then, ano, Kat? Um, wait. May nakikita ako sa back. At the back of your... Yeah, I just wanna know. Where did you get that figure? Yeah, that's my, my favorite um display here sa... I, I'm living with my parents, by the way. Mm-hmm. Is so, there a story about... Uh, I mean, my, my parents kasi is a hardcore Catholic. Mm-hmm. So, noong una, ayaw nila yan. Ayaw nila yung ipalagay. Kasi parang siguro, alam mo na, hindi naman natin masisi kanya-kanyang culture yan. Yeah. So, I got that in Bali. I went kasi to Bali um, 2018 um, to take my Inferno Hot Pilates. And nung nasa dagat-dagatan lang ako, nasa dagat-dagat ako ng Suminyak, so, may lumapit sa akin. May lumapit sa akin. So, nag, nagbibenta siya. Nagbibenta siya. Una, ayaw kong bumili. Kasi parang ang hirap, ang hirap bitbitin. Ang hirap bitbitin. Pero sabi ko sa sarili ko, sabi ko, okay, kapag merong dyang ano, may nakita ako na kukurot sa akin, then sige, pagtsatsagaan ko siyang bitbitin. So, ayun na nga, hanggang sa nakita ko yan. So, every time na na napapadaan ako dyan, lagi kong naiisip na, this is my hard work when I took the Inferno um, Pilates training. Kasi naman, talaga namang, hindi biro yung nangyari sa akin nung piniko yung training na yon As in, bugbugan. Ay, hindi ako sanay kasi, you know, the yoga is working in. It's yeah. not working out. It's not... um sculpting your muscles and everything, ba? It's a working in. Hindi siya pagandahan ng abs, but it's an inward journey, ang yoga. And then eventually, bigla akong nag-training ng Pilates, which is a workout. So talagang yung three days training ko, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, bugbugan talaga. Like, hindi ako, hindi ako makalakad. So, ayan, every time nakikita ko yan, si Buda, mm-hmm. parang ayun yung hard work ko. Hard work ko. Nasaan man na ako ngayon? Ayun. Yeah, so, 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 my, my certificate. so, that's my yoga corner. Ah, okay. Yung, uh, so, that certificate ko in 
and then NASA, and mm -hmm. then may rocket, may, and may trapeze, may trapeze yoga. Mm -hmm. So, ano yan, that's a sentimental corner that, you know, yes, para, uh -oh. in times that you feel bad or, you know, there are really get, hindi naman good days always, you came to that space and then yes. it, it's a reminder that, okay, eto. I throw <laughs> everything on that corner. Uh -oh. On that corner, I throw everything. When I'm happy, I throw there because uh -oh. I practice. I practice my yoga. I, I, roll, I roll my mat there. So when I'm sad, I still throw there. Alam mo lagi ko ang sinasabi sa mga students ko eh. Mm -mm. When you're sad, you practice. But also when you're happy, you still practice. Kasi there are students na they just only practice because they are sad. Most so whether you're happy or actually, you're yeah, sad. I agree to that, yeah. Yeah, you need to show up onto your mm -mm. Yun nga eh, yun yung pinaka, one of the hardest is to show up to the practice, diba? So, especially right now, but, well, it's always the process. So, we need to really yeah. trust about it. And, ano, Kat, um, for my next question, alam ko you had uh, many styles na, like vinyasa, pilates, you got rocket already, trapeze. trapeze. Um, <laughs> sa mga styles na yon. Pwede mo namang isa-isahin or pwede namang hindi. I just want to know why are you still why are you gravitated to those types of yoga? Parang bakit like right now ang pinaka baby mo ngayon is the rocket yoga. Why rocket yoga? Why not the rest of the other yoga styles? Can you tell us more about that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um in terms of teaching, I prefer the vinyasa. It's because vinyasa is freestyle. It's very dynamic. So it exercises my creativity in creating a sequence. But in terms of personal practice, I prefer rocket. Um, maybe because rocket is not, it's very playful. And you know, when I practice rocket, it's just that may mga poses na magic na lang na ipapasok ko bigla. Nagagawa ng katawan ko, maybe because the rocket is, since it's a set sequence, so nakaprepare siya to that certain pose. That's why maybe siguro I can able to do this pose when I do rocket, compare when I do my own warm-up. So yon. Pero in totality, in general, I prefer young rather than yin. Pero sabi nga nila, um, hindi balance. Kailangan ko rin yeah. yin. Kailangan ko rin mag yin. Pero yun nga, in terms of teaching, uh, I think I'm a better teacher for vinyasa. Kasi, um, I know myself, alam mo yun, um, siguro dahil harot ako or medyo liberated ako on top of the mat. So, mm -hmm. nakakapag-create ako ng creative um, sequence. A lot of creative transitions, yan. Alam kong medyo forte ko na yun. So, pero yun nga. Pero kung ang pag-uusapan is personal practice, then I, I like the rocket. Okay. So, well, makes sense na na-expound mo na din. Oh. Well, eventually... Oh, yeah. Or if the young, young side... It's a little rocket na practice. Eh. It's, it's liberating. Basta iba siya. Liberating. It's, it's really different. Ako, I, I've been doing ashtanga and then also rocket. Iba yung rocket talaga. So, kaya parang I, I can look uh, more to what you say and what you explain about why rocket yoga really gravitated na style sa'yo. So, um for that, um, I just want uh, to Stephen, know. Stephen, I just want to add. I just want to add something. Go, go, go. I, I owe my strength to Ashtanga. Ay, totoo yan. Discipline. Yes. Discipline. Uh -huh. like, Ashtanga taught me how to be grounded. So even though I don't really practice yin, yin yoga, mm. but since I practice before, before, nung wala pang rocket, nung hindi ko pa nidi-discover yung rocket, uh -oh. it's either I practice vinyasa or, or ashtanga. 
And you know, mm. sabi, ko, sabi nga namin nung nagte-training kami ng rocket, um, you need to have an Ashtanga foundation because the Ashtanga will teach you how to be grounded. Mm-mm. And then eventually when you take the rocket, rocket yoga will help you spread your wings. That's why and in fly. rocket class, and fly. And fly. That's why a lot of transitions in the, in the rocket, a lot of arm balances, you know, a lot of putting the legs in the air. Uh-oh. And sometimes it's hard to do that kung tumalon ka kagad sa rocket. Correct. Without the grounding teachings of the Ashtanga. So hindi well, rin talaga pwedeng lipad ka lang. Mm-mm. You need to start from the bottom. Kaya nga yoga is an inward journey. Kasi hindi pwedeng nasa gitna ka kagad eh. Totoo. True. Diba? Parang hindi siya automatic. Oh, we, we always Uh-oh. start naman talaga with the physical physical practice na dun tayo first and eventually we as we go further to the practice we deepen our practice so yeah it really depends din sa atin and then nagaano din eh nag-iiba like for now iba yung practice mo like diba we were discuss- discussing kay Ina, how was your practice how was this yeah. it's way at first way akala ko yoga is just a workout it's just Same a workout here. and then eventually i was like no this is a journey it's oh, inside you. Talagang kakalkalin yung mga deep. Yeah, no? it's Kasi? an exploration of your body, Kasi not in- outside. Inside exploration. Yeah, the physical aspect comes after, eh. It's really like, ang nangyayari is more inward. It's really the like cleansing. Inward. Lahat, and then outward. Oo, totoo yan. So, yeah, ang um, ano doon, so parang, I can't agree to what you what you told a while ago sa about your yoga journey and i just want to ask what is your biggest motivation bakit ka nag yoga so pwede na um dati or ngayon okay why yourself ako ako lang talaga <laughs> um, siguro kasi uh, gusto ko lang na na mumu- Alam mo yun, um, gusto ko kahit I have three kids. Mm-hmm. I, still, I still look young. You know, kasi... Well, you're not you're not 35 looking. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Siguro yun, yun. And then, I feel at peace mm-hmm. when I practice. So yun lang yung motivation ko. Um, happiness sa sarili ko. Kasi kapag masaya ako, napapasaya ko yung mga anak ko, napapasaya ko yung magulang ko and yung mga tao sa paligid ko. Alam yan, kapag pag malungkot ako, malungkot din sila, ba? So, ginagawa ko yon para sa sarili ko kasi gusto kong maging masaya. Gusto kong maganda yung physical appearance ko kasi gusto ko lang, ganun. Masaya ako pag, pag maganda yung nakikita ko sa salamin. And kapag masaya ka, nag-resonate yun, masaya din yung tao sa paligid mo. Agree. Simple lang, simple lang. Agree. Agree. Oo, Kasi hindi ko siya ginagawa. Very because, basic. Because alam mo yun, kasi yun yung kailangan. Mm-hmm. Okay. Kasi gusto ko, gusto kong maganda yung nakikita ko every time um, nakaharap ako sa salamin. Uh-huh. Alam mo yun, may glow yung 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 smile mo, yung ngiti mo, yung aura mo. Oo. Diba? So, ayun. Ako, yun lang yung motivation ko, yung sarili ko. Well, of course naman. It's, it's very simple. Simple answer. Oh. Pero, mahirap siyang i-discuss and then, you know, go into bits because it's really about the self. Diba? Like, while you're practicing, it's all about you, going you. inward, and checking. Yeah, checking yourself na, Okay, then whatever may happen, the pandemic, or, you know, as you move forward, you will be always okay, diba? Kasi, oh, yeah. you, know, you know who you are, diba? Yes. Diba, hindi, hindi titigil yung mundo because of the pandemic. Mm-mm, Wala na tayong yeah. matagawa na eh. Andyan na siya, so... Andyan na yan, oo. So, it's ang, 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 ang pinakamagandang... True, ang pinakang... Uh, ano, ano, ano to? Parang... One of the memorable na nabasa ko, parang line yata na for the past week na 
you know, I've been really thinking about it is the word endure. And then yung isa is transformational lives. Because yun yung nangyayari sa atin ngayon eh. Like, how can we have the transformational lives kung hindi, hindi na yung mag endure It's not just striving, di ba? So it's it's more than that. So ganon. So we are we are really lucky because we know the practice and we are yes. also sharing it to others. And of course, we want that some someday, di ba? Lahat like everyone will ready have na. yeah ready na to embrace what is a practice all about. And I'm very thankful nga ako kasi I I found yoga. Siguro mm-hmm. kung, hindi, kung hindi ko nakilala ang yoga, I don't know, baka lumabas na ang dragon inside me. O di ba, so na tame. <laughs> so hindi ka, ka, when you go to, uh, when you check your reflection, yun pala yung nakikita mo. Oo, oh, oh, oh. yeah. Okay. Grabe. Least, you know, that, that's your, uh, di ba, that's your, that's the other side of you. And One thing that I learned that. sa uh-huh. yoga is to how to accept yung things that you don't have control. Like outside of your so mind. So true. So true. Outside of your body, you can't control. You can't control their thoughts. So if they throw words on you that you don't like, wala kang control eh. It's how you react. So, yun. That's why every time I hear hmm, Words that I don't like to hear, ang lagi ko na lang sinasabi na that's their opinion, anong, anong magagawa ko. You know? Just okay. accept lang. Kasi you cannot please uh-uh. everyone. We have different yeah. views. Diba? So, nat- Hindi mo sila control ko yun. outside. Yeah, natutunan yeah. ko yun na ganun talaga. That, that's, that's how life works. True. Super yun yung natutunan ko sa sa yoga na and also na, um I learned that in meditation. Mm, na, yeah, ay, meditation. Ano mo, good or bad. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't affect you. You know, ganon. Um, non attachment. Correct. Aparigla ha. Okay. <laughs> non attachment. <laughs> could be today um people will praise you pero that the doesn't day, mean after an hour they will still he will still na. praise you yeah. diba? and wala tayong magagawa move on <laughs> yes speaking of that so um i-connect ko lang yun sa reflection kanina this is like a pop up question so for example um you're facing a mirror right now okay <laughs> and then Looking back seven years ago, ano yung, what is the message that you will tell to the seven years ago na Katrina? And then, paano mo siya i-connect to the, to the present Katrina right now? What is your message? Okay. It may be long, it may be personal, I don't mind. As long as you, you know, um, just talk to your old self. Sige. Shocks, niyak tuloy ako. Ah... <laughs> uh, Okay, wait. <sighs> okay, I'm facing now my old, the old cat, the old cat. Um, and kasi, um, hmm. <laughs> wait, who? Um, maaga kasi akong nagdalaga. Alam mo yun? So medyo hindi ko masyado nabigyan ng happiness, if I may say, my parents. Kasi um, I'm an only child. So, marami silang expectations, something like that, na they also want me to pursue sa medical school. Mga ganon. Like, I wanted to be a psychiatrist. Pero sabi ko nga sa sarili ko, it's okay. Hindi ka man psychiatrist, hindi ka man MD. Pero, nandun pa rin naman ako. Pag tinatanong ako, why do you want to be a psychiatrist? Sabi ko, Um, because I want people to be happy. Kasi noon, ang alam ko lang, if you're a psychiatrist or a psychologist, you make those depressed people happy. And I'm still on that, you know, box in a different um, approach nga lang. Pero okay. I still make people happy in 
through yoga. True. Yeah, so like I said, maaga kasi ako nagdalaga. So I got my first um, child when I was 20. And then after noon, I got my twins naman when I was 25. So, hindi na ako nagtuloy kasi ayoko na rin. Pinamad na rin ako mag-aral kasi may, may kids na ako, kailangan ko mag-alaga. And then second, um, I'm a single mom. I am annulled. So, though we're good good terms naman kami nung father nung mga kids ko. So, we're co-parenting. So, wala kaming problema in terms of that. Pero alam mo naman ang Pilipinas, if you're a broken family, parang iba yung tingin nila sa'yo. Which is, wala na tayo magagawa. Diba? Yeah. Wala tayo magagawa doon. Medyo hindi pa kasi open ang Pilipinas sa modern family. So, tapos marami akong bisyo nun. Um, alam mo yun, I drink, I smoke, lahat ata ng bisyo nasa akin. So, kung kaharap ko yung old cat, ang sasabihin ko lang, it's okay. Um, you are forgiven. And it's okay to make mistake. Kasi that's part. And ayun. I think ayun. Oh. Okay lang. Whatever you did before, that that's okay. For as long as um, you learn something, good or bad, um, that's okay. Um, you need to be proud kahit na ayun yung past. Kasi ano't ano man, ano't ano man yung before, there is still... Um, lessons um, that I learned and ngayon nasasabi ko na na the reason why those things happen in the past um, kasi it makes sense nowadays. So thankful din ako na I passed those stages in life kasi it helps me kung where am I now. So, ayun. <laughs> Sorry, I get so emotional. <laughs> okay. Okay lang yun. Ano ka ba? Eh, that, that's really part of it. And then, those emotions are, ano eh, parang you need to let it out. Ako, for the past months, I, I'm not telling that, um, I'm, I'm, parang I can't say that I'm really not, that I'm, I'm not 100% okay. Like, diba? Halos lahat naman eh. We have our own struggles. And, and it's okay. And that's very good also. And I hope that that exercise or, that, you know, talking to yourself you know, yeah. that is... I really always good. make sure to forgive myself. Yeah. Not mm-hmm. to be harsh on yourself. Because if you don't forgive yourself, you won't be able to forgive society. So, diba, the forgiving should come from yourself. Mm-hmm. You know? So, okay lang yun. Nagkamali ka, okay lang yun. It okay. happens. Okay. Tumayo ka ulit. No. Kahit no. ano ka pa naging maraming katangahan, okay lang yun. Kayo ka na lang ulit. You sh- life should move on, you know. Gaya nga ng pag... May mga balancing sequence sa mo sa, sa, sa class. O, oh, ano nung balancing sequence? Yeah, sa- lagi kong sinasabi. My favorite words. <laughs> when you fall, go back. If you fall three times, you come back four times. True. Because True. you build strength every time you fall down. Mm-mm. And you build stable, stability every time you try to come back. Because, you know? when you come back, alam mo yun, you make sure not to fall again. Eh. Yeah. So, you, you, you're, you're making sure that your base mo is grounded Mm-mm. and and also if we fall okay lang diba oh, parang ganun eh. oh ganun siya that's really living it's, it's important na kahit ilang beses ka na fall you just have to keep standing kahit gumapang ka pa sa lusak <laughs> and it's okay right diba and- also, and also, please, um, sa mga viewers natin, allow mm. yourself to be sad. Yes. If you need to mourn for one month, 
it's okay. You don't need to explain to people why you are mourning. You are sad. You don't owe them an explanation to say why you are sad. If that what makes you feel better, then yeah, mm -hmm. acknowledge all the sadness. Correct. Pero Correct. make sure you know when to end that. You know, mm -hmm. if you want to be Para sad for one week, okay lang yon. Mm -mm. Pero make sure after one week, try to stand up. Yeah, shift it right away, di ba? So it's like ano, talagang important is you really have to forward, di ba? Yes. So and, kung gusto mo maging malungkot for one month, okay lang yun. Pero after mm -hmm. one month, you need to stand up. You need Correct. to put an end. You have to decide. I will put an end to this sadness and I will move forward. Yeah. Okay. Sige, Kat. Hope you're feeling better right now after that release. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hindi Sorry. ko inexpect ka. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, for my last question, before we really go into the, you know, the fun side of this portrait yeah. is, I just want to know, or do you have any memorable classes that you have held that you have handled? Pala? Like, maybe a one or two that you can share to us? Any memorable classes? Memorable and what made it memorable? Class. Yeah. Um, you memorable, uh, okay. Because back then, no wala pang pandemic, I have a lot of studio. Hindi mm, naman a lot, pero like I have five. I have five studios. I'm a freelance kasi, so I'm not exclusive to any of the studios. So I have five studios. And my favorite class is the Wednesday, which is in Beyond. Kasi, alam mo na, it's a Wednesday, Wednesday. So every time Wednesday 9 a.m. in Beyond Surrender, excited akong pumasok kasi it's Wednesday, you know, it's a wind day. Yun lang yun. Pero yung memorable sa akin is yung birthday ko last year. I, I mean, not last year, this year, January 29. So I thought that was Wednesday, Wednesday yun on January 29. And I taught the 4 p.m. class in Yoga Plus, BGC. And to my surprise, I had 35 students. So That's in my first, yeah, yeah, so 35 mm -hmm. years old ako at that time, that day, and I have 35 students. So totoo lang Oh, Yes, in announce nila na... Uh, teacher Cat is sobbing, ganyan. And it's Teacher Cat's uh, birthday today. It's very special. And nagkataon lang na yung umaten nung 4 p.m. class na yun. Sumakto so, sa number. Sumakto. So, okay. Sumakto so, sa number. Pero yun yung memorable ko. Kasi Wednesday yun. Mm. Uh, Wednesday na favorite day ko yun. Kasi it's always win for me. Okay. And Sakto, yung birthday ko na yon is tumapat din ng Wednesday. So, win, 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 win talaga. Yung January oh, 29 na yun. Saya. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's a very good, ano, it's a very good, parang nag-connect siya agad with the oh, number at the same time it. with, you know, your yeah. intention. With my favorite day, kasi Wednesday, tapos birthday ko pa yon 35 years old ako, and then that time, 35 pa yung students ko. No? Well, that's ano yun, para mga masarap balik balikan when you have oh, that moment like, that you know. Oh, I'm safe in sa pizza sa gallery ng phone to yung yung picture <laughs> with my partner na thirty five students in my correct. <laughs> anyway, thank you for answering those questions. May mga pop up na question na lumabas and then to really not. We're, hindi pa naman tayo pa end, pero we're almost going there na. So, I prepared this. <laughs> I don't know if makikita oh, siya. So, we have an envelope here. <laughs> so, <laughs> may cash na yan. <laughs> <laughs> para tayo ano, parang budget. Ganun. Okay. <laughs> uh -oh. So, magano ako, random na buno. Tapos, uh, okay. uh, on those, ano, dun sa mabubunot ko, we have these questions that you need to answer. Hindi pa to fast talk ha. Ano pa to? Parang additional questions. Parang pampa-warm-up ano, pampa questions pa. 
So, I'll, oh, okay. So, for the first question, ito. Um, what you need to do for uh, dito is, sabihin mo lang kung ano yung first mong naisip when you hear, when parang na, narinig mo yung phrase. So, okay. ganun lang. Uh-uh. So, the question is, yoga for me is? Inward journey. I Okay. Next. Because of yoga, I have met. Met? Met ba? Uh, uh, because of yoga, I have met my partner. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> talaga? <laughs> Ay, talaga ba? <laughs> yoga ba? Yes. Ay, ba? Kaya naman pala eh. <laughs> <laughs> no? So, yeah. Ang love okay. career na nakita sa studio. Tapos sa, sa ano pala, sa mat pala nakita. <laughs> yes, oo. Okay. Ano yun ha, trivia yun. Next is, before doing yoga, I usually... Ay, kilay. Ay, yung pala yung kilay. Oo <laughs> <laughs> pala, kilay pala. <laughs> Whether I'm teaching or practicing, the kilay is there. Um, anong tawag natin doon? Kilay on flick. Oo, kailangan kilay on flick. On flick, na, on flick <laughs> dapat. Okay. Thank you for that, Kat. Next is, if I am not doing yoga, I am sure I will be. Psychiatrist. Ah, uh, okay. Makes sense. Or psychologist. Very, ano, like pwede, pwede, pwede. Okay, so for the next question, the pose that I am most uncomfortable is pinakaayaw mo talaga ever. Oh, oh. This is love and hate relationship with the pose. Oh, oh. Okay. Um, I'm not comfortable with child's pose. Really? Bakit? Yes. But it's a resting pose. Oh, oh why? Kasi, may ipit yung ilong ko, so hindi ako makihinga. <laughs> At ang forehead ko naman, ang um, tight yung shoulder ko. So sabi ko, saan ako lulugar kay child's pose? <laughs> Kahit naka-wide? As in? <laughs> yeah, oo. Pag wide oh, naman, masyadong, um, masyado yes. na yung, yung um, gravity. Pull of gravity sa, sa hip section ko. So, ah, okay. So, so <laughs> ah, bakit ganon? Kaya, when I teach, ewan ko, maybe you notice, mm-hmm. medyo less ang child's pose ko kasi medyo, hindi ko siya, wala siya lagi sa mga sequence ko. Unless okay. you need child's pose, then take child's pose. But I will not offer child's pose. Alright, no problem with that. Okay, <laughs> next is, my first headstand happened during during the rocket training. Really? Yung talagang... And the headstand, the headstand. Oh, oh, headstand. Uh, uh, teacher training. Talaga? Yes. Oo, oh, oh, kaya nung nag-teacher training ako, um, like all of them, we were 14. Mm-hmm. So 14 of them were already doing headstand. Headstand, headstander. Oh, oh. Except for me. Even the half head. Mm. Even the teddy bear. Mm. Negative, negative. So nanonood lang ako sa kanila. Tapos parang nasasabi ko na lang na, paano yun? Paano yung ginawa <laughs> yun? Oo. And then, alam mo yun, eventually, I just allow the pose to happen. And mm. I allow the everything to happen. So nagulat na lang ako. Before I graduate the teacher training, I was able to at least float my feet. Not oh, really all the way up, pero at least I was able to Lift. half to the half uh-huh. head, the teddy bear style. Okay. So yeah, that's my first oh. head. Oh, oh, magad progress yun eh. So di ba? That's yes. you know little okay. success. So good job to I that. And yes, then progress. <laughs> Correct. Next is my favorite yoga pose is I know. Favorite yoga pose. Mm. Um. Favorite yoga pose, madami eh. Pero, yung talagang bet na bet ko. Oo, uh, what first? Ano, hindi kong ginagawa na talagang 
lagi kong ginagawa and then at the same time nagre-resonate sa sa class ko yeah. is the wild thing. Oh, heart opening. Heart <laughs> okay. Okay. I want everyone to see the wild thing in me. <laughs> Mukhang ka yan. <laughs> Favorite ko yan, the wild thing. Flip the dog. Correct. Kamarat ka sana. Pwede. <laughs> Di ba? Why not? Okay, yes. so bago ta... You're just opening everything. Iba din yung feeling eh. Parang you do it. It's different. Gusto ko din yung post. Oh. Yeah, what, I think one of my... Ano din yan. So bago tayo mag ano with the... Uh, yung magpipili ka ng dalawang, I'll magbibigay ako ng dalawang words, tapos pipili ka ng isa. So that's gonna be the yoga fast talk version of chakra. Uh, I would just like to ask you kung saan ka namin makikita or what are your classes. So feel free to vlog and then yeah, just go. Thank you for allowing me to vlog my, my videos. Uh, guys, uh, if you wanna catch I do private classes, so you can see them in my social media. My Instagram is Fearless Cat, and my Facebook um, account is Athena Alon de Castro. Alright, so if you want um, the private classes, just DM me. And also, you can uh, catch me in four different yoga First is um, Yoga Plus. I teach in Yoga Plus every Wednesday. Wednesday, which is my favorite day. So that is 9 a.m. And I am teaching Corpro. So especially if you feel that you have deep core, since that is very important to, you know, transitions and do a lot of movement. You need strong, strong, strong core. So I think, in my opinion, core flow is for you if you want to strengthen that area, right? So that is Wednesday at 9 a.m., Yoga Plus, and also Sunday, same time with Yoga Plus, 9 a.m., and that is Rocket Express. Rocket Express because it's only one hour. So it's a Rocket Express. It's not a full um, Rocket One sequence. And also my, uh, Sunday, um, at 2 p.m., that is an open level vinyasa. Um, it is with I Go Beyond Digital Studio. And Monday as well with I Go Beyond Digital Studio every 6.30 p.m. And that is same open level vinyasa. My Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. is with Rebel Yoga, Rocket Express. And Saturday... Um, body Love Yoga, 10 at 10.30 a.m., and that is Open Level Vinyasa. So um, I'll just say it again one more time. Yoga Plus, Wednesday, 9 a.m., um, Core Flow, Sunday, 9 a.m., Rocket. I Go Beyond Yoga, Sunday, 2 p.m., and Monday, 6.30 Them. Both are open level vinyasa. Wednesday, 6.30 p.m., Rocket Express with Rebel Yoga. And the last is um, Saturday, 10.30 a.m., open level vinyasa um, with Body Yoga, Body Love Yoga. So that's it. But if you want to have just a one on one class, please, please, please DM me and we can talk about your. Yoga journey. Thank you so yes, much, you. Ethan, for allowing me to yeah, no plug problem. all my studios. Of course, uh, you know it, it's always an honor to have you. And you know, in these times, alam naman natin that we as teachers help each other, especially sa nangyayari right now, de ba? So yun lang naman. And then I have a last question, pala. Um, just very short. What is your message to everyone? Either a yoga practitioner or hindi yoga practitioner. What's your message right now? Parang gusto mong i-express. So, yeah. For everyone, not just to the country, but to the world. Hello, Kat. Are you there? Katrina, are you there? 
Ay, hello, Kat. Hello. Can you hear me? Nawala ka. Hello. Ano <laughs> eh. Uy. Hi, are you there? Hello, I think the wala si teacher cat. So we'll just um try to wait or he has she has some problem with her connection. So for that um we can actually I'll just wait for a while. Katrina, are you there? <laughs> or may problema ka sa connection mo? So thank you so much again for tuning in for our first episode for on the Saturday and um, I hope to see you on our next episode. So we'll be having more of our episode in the coming Saturday. So Friday is always hashtag Chakra Chat and then on a Saturday with me Chakra Chatter for a very, you know, extra special guest. So we have different special guests and thank you so much once again for tuning in into our Saturday weekend and uh, as always uh, in, in every yoga class we always put our palms together at the center for chest and thank you so much namaste bye-bye everyone thank you bye